Hey guys, Adrian Morrison here. And in this video, I want to discuss doing uh, targeting research for niches. So one really powerful tool that I use to really hone in on a market is in Facebook ads. It's on the left hand corner. It's called the audience insights tool, and it'll give you exactly what it says. It'll give you insights, deep insights into other interests of people that are interested in a specific niche, if, if that makes sense. Uh, so in this video, we're going to use that tool and we're going to discover, you know, how we can really dig deep into a niche, find very profitable keywords that are going to give us a very targeted audience for the shirt that we launch or the product or service or, you know, whatever it may be for that matter. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this tool here uh, for audience insights. And just in uh, debating on what interest we should use uh, for this tool, if you recall, I did a video on um, finding niches and doing research for niches. So one of those ways was just using Facebook ads uh, or Facebook's graph search. So you just go up to the top of Facebook, you type in interests and you start scrolling through all of the, the different interests that are there. Um, for this example, we'll use horse racing. So notice it says that horse racing has half a million people that like it on Facebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we're creating a shirt design that has to do with, um, that has to do with raising horses. So we could go to Pinterest and, uh, we could look for different horse racing quotes and, you know, uh, funny stuff or cool designs that we could use as inspiration to put on a shirt. So you already know that, right? So let's dig into the audience. Half a million people say they like it on Facebook. So let's go back over to our audience insights tool. And before we um, you know, dig into the keyword, I want to point out it's a good idea to go ahead and set your age group over here to 25 plus. You just don't see a lot of sales, or at least I haven't seen a lot of sales from the dem demographic below 25 years old. Probably a money issue. Um, you know, college kids typically are you know eating ramen noodles and you know scraping up pennies. Uh, and saving up their money for the party on the weekend so they can afford the, the beer or the keg. Uh, so the older demographic usually works uh, a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to type in horse racing. Comes up, enter it in, and you'll see all these uh, demographics start coming up here. Now I actually uh, got more insight into this strategy from a friend of mine, his name is Matt Schmidt, and uh, you know he gave me some brilliant ideas here on how to use this tool, and it's a uh, it's an extremely profitable way to target your ads. So first off, when we type in horse racing, um, we'll see that 78% is women, 22% is men. Um, horse racing is a kind of a gender neutral niche, so we're going to advertise to men and women women anyways. It tells us um, age groups that are involved though. So if you look over here, you'll see that, you know, the big age group, uh, there's a there's a big uh, barrier between the age group starting from 45 and above uh, and 44 and below. So you'll notice 25%, 27% uh, of women like horse racing. And then you got 16 and 17% below 45 years old. Um, this is some pretty good insight for us. Uh, it's kind of letting us know that our odds are likely going to be better if we're targeting 45 plus year olds uh, for women. Now you'll see for men that it's kind of even across the board, but it's more of a dominant women's uh, interest according to the insights tool. So we're going to pay attention to the insights specifically for the women on this one. So 45 plus. All right, now if you come up here to the top, you'll see that there is a, a little tab that says page likes. And this is where we're really gonna spend a lot of our time. 
Um, the audience insights tool is going to tell you what other products and what other pages that people that like horse racing are, are likely to enjoy. Um, before we go any further, I want to point something out though. Up here, it's telling us that the audience that we're researching is 3.5 million to 4 million people for horse racing. Um, coming back over here to our interest graph search on Facebook, you'll see that on Facebook graph search, it says only half a million people like horse racing. So why is it that in the audience insights tool, we're looking at 4 million people that we're doing research off of? What's the discrepancy there? Um, basically, what myself and many others believe that it is that use this tool is kind of a, what's called a association or like by association rule. Um, that means that people who may not like horse racing are kind of tossed into this audience um, by their association with somebody else that does like horse racing. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, that means that maybe somebody is a horse racer and they posted a picture of them in a horse racing competition and that went out to all of their friends on Facebook, right? Well, out of those friends that saw that photo, surely some of them liked that photo, they, they commented on it and they shared that photo, a photo about horse racing. So what happens is Facebook kind of tosses them into that audience of people that may possibly be interested into horse racing. So when you're targeting a broad keyword like horse racing, um, you're likely going to be targeting people that like horse racing, but a lot of people that don't like horse racing. That's going to kill your ROI. It's going to hurt it. And it's going to kill, uh, you know, the scalability of the ad because you don't have a lot of ROI. So the idea is how do you come in here and how do you really hone in and bullseye target the people that really do specifically just like horse racing? Okay, so if you scroll down on the page likes tab, you'll see that uh, it gives us a list of other popular pages on Facebook that, that are related to the keyword horse racing. Um, tail spin bracelets, American Quarter Horse Association. So you can see that these are, are pretty relevant. Um, you, know, you can click on them um, like tail spin bracelets and you can take a look at you know what the fan page is about so this one is has something to do with horses obviously and making jewelry out of I, I don't know maybe it's horse tail jewelry whatever uh, from here though you can really start honing in on other more unique and specific pages so what I've been doing is looking over here at this affinity score um, now if you if you hover your mouse over affinity, it tells you that the affinity is how likely that your audience for horse racing is to like a given page compared to everybody else on Facebook. So people that like tail spin bracelets are 9.5 times more likely to like horse racing than everybody else on Facebook. What I do is I look at the top five here. So one, two, three, four, five. And I choose the one that has the highest affinity score. Uh, I'm doing that because it's obviously the most um, out of the five. It's the most relevant to horse racing specifically. So if you look here, it says HRTV um, has a 12.5 times affinity score. And that's in the top five. So they have big audiences, as you can see here, 200,000, 100,000. Um, you can click on this and, and see what it's all about. All right, so this is a TV network for horse racing. So you can see that this is more relevant to horse racing than the first one it pulled up, which was um, this tail spin bracelets fan page. So that's why it has a higher affinity score. So that should, uh, that should make sense to you. So here's what we're going to do. 
Since we know that this is a more unique keyword than just horse racing, we're going to take this keyword and we're going to search for it in the interest tab. So let's do that. H R T V. Okay, here it is. Now, once we do that, you're going to see some things change down here. But once you get that entry in, go ahead and delete the broad entry. The broad entry would be horse racing. Now you notice we get some crazy high affinity scores, right? So we've got Adina Springs at 65 times and Horse Racing Nation at 40 times and EQ Stable at 39 times. So we've got some massive affinity scores here and it's a huge list of them too. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So they'll give us a pretty good bit. Now this is gold to you, this data is where the money is if you want to advertise a design that has to do with horse racing. This is where you're really going to reach that 500,000 people that truly like horse racing. And you're really not going to end up um, advertising to people that are kind of like guilty by association or um, like by association, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start making a list of all of these interests and we're going to use those when we're targeting our ad. So what I would suggest doing is just uh, pulling up an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Doc, whatever, and saving all of these keywords or all of these key interests so you can always have them in a file to use them later. That just makes sense to me. Um, but let's take a look at what some of these are. Like this one has a 65% affinity score. So that means that this audience is 65 times more likely to like horse racing than anybody else on Facebook. So I don't know what Adina Springs is, but let's uh, let's take a look at it, which is cool because you can come in here and you can you know look at stuff. All right, so <clears throat> right off the bat, I know that this has to do with horse racing because it's got some people racing horses. It looks like it could be a uh, maybe kind of like a horse racing track or a place where they train racing horses or something. But we know that if we are targeting people that like Adina Springs based off of our audience insights tool, that we're likely to reach an audience of people that are extremely likely to be involved in horse racing. Right. So this is how you separate a losing campaign with a winning campaign by coming in here and finding these extremely bullseye targeted high affinity keywords. Now, uh, rule of thumb for me is I will not use an affinity uh, keyword if it's not at least 20 plus. So you'll see some in here are like 19 plus. Uh, you've got some at 16, uh, some down here at, well, this, this one actually just pulled up a really good list, but sometimes you'll see some that are still 10, 15, 12, 30. My rule of thumb is if it's under a 20 affinity score, I don't use it. I throw it away. Um, I, I like it to be above 20 times, which you can see here. Clearly I have a really great list. So what you can do is you can go start building a really targeted audience in Facebook ads by using these keywords. So let's do that right now. Coming over into Facebook ads, um, this is that's where I'm at right now where you can actually create an ad. You can choose your location and your age group and all that stuff. Um, this is where we're going to start building our audience for, for our ad in Facebook. So I want to go ahead and I just want to change my group to 25 plus because remember that's kind of where the money is and um, that's what Audience Insights told us anyway. Actually, Audience Insights told us that we should do 45 plus, especially in terms of women. All right, so we'll just put it on 45 plus for now. And we'll still target both men and women because it is a uh, gender neutral niche. And down here where it says interests, this is where we're going to uh, come in and start entering all of these keywords from the audience insights tool. So Adina Springs, I'm just gonna copy it. Come over to Facebook, 
paste it in and you'll see right here now I'm targeting uh, 22,000 people that are 45 plus years old that say that they like Adina Springs okay let's go to the next one horse racing nation has a 40 times event affinity score come up here type it in boom okay so you can see we've got horse racing nation now we're at a 48,000 um, large audience and you know that these people are extremely targeted because the audience insights tool tells us that they have an extreme uh, high extremely high affinity score and are very likely to like horse racing all right then you've got EQ stable let's type that in oh, I think I forgot to copy it so let's make sure I hit copy that would be a good idea All right, so nothing's coming up for EQ stable. Let me just make sure that, you know, we can see if we can get it to come up. All right, it's not really pulling anything up for EQ stable. And that's going to happen sometimes. So, you know, don't freak out if it, you know, if it doesn't come up. Sometimes, um, even though it's got a, a really high affinity score, notice that its audience is only uh, 29,000. So sometimes if the audience is too small, Facebook won't find it as a as an interest in ad. So if that happens, just uh, you know, move along to the next one. So saddled and ready. Copy it. Copy and paste is not working very well, which is no fun. All right, so saddled and ready. That took us up to 280,000. So uh, let's go back and make sure that that makes sense. So saddled and ready is the affinity that we're looking for. Um, it has an audience of 321,000 on, on Facebook and 51,000 uh, like through their regular audience tab. And um, I have saddled ready in here. So it doesn't match it exactly. Um, I don't like that. So let's not take the risk. Let's keep it super targeted. So let's X that out. And it's good that, you know, you're seeing these things happen because when you're going through, um, it's not always going to be a cakewalk and everyone's going to come up. You just, you kind of need to know um, what to do here if it doesn't and not to freak out, whatever. So Mana Pro Horse. Let's see if we can get that one to pull anything up. Okay. Mana Pro Horse, let me make sure I spelled it right. Mana Pro Horse. Okay, that's not pulling anything up either. So let's um, move along. Tailspin Bracelets, remember I said earlier I didn't really like that one? It's got 18% affinity, so we're not gonna use that. Um, then you got Three Runs Plantation. Let's see if that'll pull anything up. Okay. Um, that's not really pulling anything up for us, so you know, we'll skip that one. We'll just keep going through these bad boys. Uh, and another one, you know, that's that's only got a 19,000 audience. So if you start noticing that these audiences on some of these are kind of small, try to go with the ones that are bigger. So like this one, Smart Pack, let's check that out. Okay, it's definitely about horses. So, um, it, you know, it fits the bill. So let's see if we can um, pull this one up. Smart pack with a K. Okay, we got that. Took us up to 220,000 people. So um, you can see that was a, a nice keyword there. Gave us a pretty big audience. It's, you know, it's on the border. It's a 20 times affinity, but it's still, my rule of thumb is if it's below 20, uh, you know, <clears throat> don't use it. If it's 20 or above, use it. All right, Preakness Stakes. I like to look at these, you know, just to make sure that all is good. Okay, that's clearly horse racing. Um, that's why this tool is so cool. All right, let's see if Preakness Stakes will pull up in Facebook ads. Okay, there we go. Uh, now that kept us uh, at 260,000. Let's make sure that, you know, that added, yeah. Okay, cool. So we picked up an extra 
uh, 40,000 people with this. So let's just keep moving along. Gallagher Animal Management North America. Let's That one just sounds like I need to look at it. Um, okay, so this one has a bunch of cows on it. Uh, you know, this is one of those things where it's got a really high affinity score. I mean, it's a really high affinity score. It's 56. When I look at it, however, um, where is it? Yeah, it's more about, it looks like it's, you know, more about livestock. So I, my gut tells me not to use this. And that's why you should, you know, look at this stuff. My gut tells me not to use it. Because um, that page really doesn't have a lot about horse racing. Even though it, the affinity score is there. You know, I'm going to go with my gut on this one. Um, let's just do a couple more. Black Mountain, Colorado, Dude Ranch. Okay, it's got horses. Let's see if we can get anything to pull up in this. Let's build this audience up. Okay, that one doesn't exist in Facebook. And it's got a small audience. Um, clearly, you can see that the ones that have like 30 plus, uh, 30 plus K of an audience are the ones that are pulling stuff up. Um, you know, really more times like 50. So, you know, that one doesn't pull anything up. <clears throat> And as I go through here, you know, the audiences um, kind of get smaller and smaller. So um, out of this one, you know, little uh, spin here where we've got a lot of keywords, but, you know, some of them have pretty small audiences, right? So let's just go back to our ad and let's re-review our audience. So over here on Facebook ads, um, with 25 plus, we're reaching... 500,000 people, which is, you know, a nice size audience. And, you know, horse racing is not exactly the biggest niche in the world, right? Uh, something I want to point out is when you go back to Facebook graph, uh, you'll, and you look at the interest horse racing, um, take a look at the amount of interest, 506,000, right? Um, earlier, when we typed in horse racing into audience insights, it said like 4 million people. And remember, we discussed about how they're, you know, and uh, they're kind of thrown in that audience by association with uh, somebody else that maybe they're related to or a post they liked or supported about horse racing, but they don't directly like horse racing, right? Uh, and that's why we used this audience insights tool to find these like gym keywords. And right now we're, we're, we're matched out, we're maxed out on you know this audience is, is really what it looks like so it only took one two three four key words to really hit to max out this audience the 25 plus year old men and women in the united states so we're ready to, to dominate the horse racing niche right now uh, what most people do is they come in facebook and they type in horse racing oh my gosh there's uh, four million people that i can target or two million people or whatever and they start hitting all of those people that are you know, likers by association, and uh, it kills their return on investment. And in some cases, it can make it not profitable. So when people always ask me, Adrian, how are, how are so many of your ads profitable? How come you fail in very few campaigns? It's because I go in and I do this niche precise targeting with, uh, with the Audience Insights tool, and I use those affinity rankings. Um, it's not rocket science, you know, it's a uh, it's just something that a lot of people don't know exist, but once you do know that it's there and that you can freely use that tool and how to use it, uh, you can build some pretty profitable campaigns. So uh, we've maxed out the horse racing niche, and uh, you know that would pretty much conclude, you know, the targeting for this campaign. So that concludes this video. So just keep in mind that whenever you are uh, whenever you're doing research on your targeting, always go to this audience insights tool and, you know, uh, go one layer deep, meaning, um, you know, just a review, go back and type in, you know, horse racing, which is what we found from the Facebook search graph. Uh, look at the top five, pick the one with the highest affinity. In our case, what was HRTV. Come back up here, type it in delete the original one which is horse racing and now we're left with that nice 
you know, fat list of high affinity ranking interest that's really going to, you know, get us to the profitability that we're looking for. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'm pretty positive this has helped you out, unless you already knew this information. Um, this is some really great stuff. So move on to the next video, and uh, we'll learn some more there.